Hi there. What I want to show you today is the reverse reverb effect. So to give you an idea what I'm talking about, here's one I created earlier. Why don't you fly, my little bird? Why don't you fly? So what's happening is the reverb has been reversed. So instead of the reverb decaying in a natural sounding way after the initial dry sound, the reverb anticipates the sound and rushes up to the audio event. So this effect is commonly used in pop, rock, electronic music, and is also commonly used in post-production as an eerie effect on dialogue or sound design. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first is the more step-by-step -step way in which the general principles could be applied in pretty much any DAW. And the second is a faster, more efficient way, which is new to Pro Tools 10. So to start with, I'm going to hide and make this inactive and bring back the dry track on its own. Let's have a listen. Why don't you fly? Okay, so that's what we're going to start with. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the track. So Shift Option D. Okay, otherwise it's track, duplicate. So this is so we can have a backup to go back to or use for alignment purposes later, or even to have a blend of the two tracks as wet and dry. So next thing is select the duplicate track. I'm gonna mute the first one and reverse it. So we're gonna, in Pro Tools, we're gonna to do this through Audio Suite, Other, Reverse. And simply click Render. There we go. Let's have a listen to that reversed. Yeah, it's noise now. Okay. So next up, we're going to apply the reverb, and I'm going to do this through Audio Suite as well. Um, first of all, I'm going to uh, mark my selection length. So I'm going to select, I'm going to shift click just after the clip to make sure we have reverb tail in there. So Audio Suite, reverb, I'll just use the D verb for now. Audio Suite. Make sure this is 100% wet, and we want a long decay usually with this kind of effect. So yeah, I'll just stick with a hall and large. Make sure it's 100% wet, and click render. So now we should hear the reversed clip with reverb printed into it. Yeah, now. Yeah, Okay, you get the idea. So now the last step is to reverse that whole clip afterwards. So we go back to Audio Suite, Other, Reverse, and Render. So now you'll notice they're actually out of time with each other, but if you align the, the end of these two clips together, they'll be right in time. So I'm going to click into the first one, my tab to transient is off, so when I hit tab, it's going to the edit cursor is going to move to the end, the clip boundary, so tab. And then if you want to align the end of a clip to your edit cursor in Pro Tools, it's on Mac anyway, it's Control Command click with the grabber tool. Bam. So now those are together, so now let's have a listen. Just to the wet signal first. Okay, that seems to be working. Let's make sure that uh, the wet and dry are synced. So I'm going to unmute the dry signal. Why don't you fly, my little bird? Why don't you fly? That seems to be working pretty well. So that's how you can do it that way. So the other way is new to Pro Tools 10 and allows you to do all of those steps with pretty much the click of a button. It's part of the Audio Suite plugin for pretty much any reverb or delay. So I'm gonna go back to the original, so I'm gonna hide and make this inactive, make Audio Suite go away, and define my selection. So I'll select the clip and make sure that I select before the clip a good amount for my reverb decay. Go to Audio Suite, Reverb, I'll go back to Dverb, on here, Audio Suite, I'll choose the same algorithm, Hall with Large, make sure it's 100% wet, and you'll notice the Reverse button down here. So I'll click that, and there we go. You see it did all those three steps in one. Let's play back. Why don't you fly, 
And there you go. That's a much simpler, quicker way to do it in Pro Tools 10. When I first came to PureMind, I had searched the forums and I had searched online, I had read magazines, I had talked with people, but it wasn't enough. What I needed to do was I needed to watch someone mix start from scratch and make their way up to a professional project. I take them through all the steps and break it down piece by piece. I want them to understand how sound interacts in the environment, number one. Number two, I want them to understand how instruments behave in a room, how to capture those instruments. Here's a microphone. What does a microphone go to? Here it is in a real world environment. Now let's go back to the classroom and dissect that. After a certain amount of time within the core program, you have access to the studios, right? And you have access to the microphones. And you have access to just bring in whoever you want and record. The first two Tumbleweed Wanderers EPs, they were both uh, completely tracked here. I brought my band in. We set up drums, you know, did overdubs. Uh, had other Pure Mind students on board as engineers, and uh, we had a really, really good time tracking those songs. There's a lot of hands-on experience. You get to see bands get recorded, you get to be involved with setting up the mics, the miking techniques, you know, the compressors, how everything in a studio flows. It's good to have that, that knowledge and the hands-on experience with the professionals that have, that have done that kind of work. There's no shortage to what you can do. It's a supportive environment that says, here is a space where you can be creative and mess up, and not only will we not judge you for messing up, we'll applaud you in those efforts. Mm -hmm.